Hello everyone, this is Nadine Dossier of EnergyWorkshealers.com. Happy full moon to everyone. I wanted to offer a message from Spirit that um, this full moon, and we've got this one, and then we've got the one for December. These are the last two full moons for this year, and this is such an amazing time for us to really get firm about letting go what we are not interested in bringing in to 2019. And it's funny because there's actually a garbage bag behind me of things that I've cleared out from my closet. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of clutter clearing lately and even, okay, so here in the US we had Thanksgiving yesterday and I had family over and we had so much fun, but I also did a lot of clutter clearing on Thanksgiving. I'm like, how many people are doing this on Thanksgiving? <laughs> but here I am going through my pantry and you know what? I've gone through my pantry at least three times I wanna say in 2018. And I still was shocked that I was finding things that were labeled um, even 2016. I'm like, what, I go through this all the time. How was this hiding from me? Anyways, clutter clearing, I love this is a quote from Denise Lynn, is modern day alchemy. And if there is one really powerful way that you can make sure that you are letting go of the past, letting go of the unneeded, unnecessary energies, clutter clearing is the way to go. And I don't think that we can even really, there are not words, and this comes true for so many things when it comes to spirit. There are so many things that we really can't put to words, the power of doing clutter clearing. But when you do it, things start moving in your life. Whether it's the next day, the next week, the next month, you can be assured that there will be flow and movement that occurs from you doing the clutter clearing. And um, so I just, this is so huge. This is such a great time for us. And we're gonna be doing so many things um, in January and especially the few months of the year to really pave the way, bring in new frequencies for 2019. It, the more that we do now to clear, the more that we're gonna get out of that. And I know that a lot of you are gonna be joining myself and Franny for our level two channeling course. We're so excited to share it with you. Um, we're gonna have that up in January. And now is the time. And no matter what you're gonna do, now is the time to clear. And I also am so excited to say, I am going to be channeling a new 21 day program for 2019. It's going to start January 1st. And this program, it's 21 days of divine union. Uh, so every day I'm going to have a channeled healing and an activation and there'll be practices. I know that a lot of you joined me for the previous two 21 day programs and they're all so every day so different and unique. And if you haven't I do have a 14 day free program on my YouTube channel here that you can check out to get a feeling for what these programs are like. Um, I know that for this one, so I haven't channeled it yet, but what I can tell you for sure is that I feel there's gonna be a lot of work with our monadic angel, which is the angel that's been with us since um, the birth of our soul, if you will, when we came into our own unique expression of source energy into this expansive universe. So um, I, I know that at least, I'm pretty sure I know what day one is gonna be. It's gonna be a high heart activation with our monadic angel. Um, and I, I know that they, the, I, this has been coming through actually a lot in the healings and it came through a little bit in the level two channeling course. Our higher, these angels that have been with us again since the beginning of our uh, birth into um, uh, separation, if you will, but our birth into our expre personal expression, they're really strong right now on our planet and wanting to connect with us. So this 21 day um, divine union program at the very least is gonna connect you with your monadic angel, but I know it's gonna be uh, amazing adventure for everyone who comes along. Okay, so here's, I have an offer for you today. And this is so funny because I am so, and this is my, 
um, rebellious, like I was really rebellious in my teen years. And I, well, uh, since I was born, actually, I got, I'm an Aquarius. Um, at first, when my guides gave me an idea for doing a Black Friday deal, I'm like, everybody does a Black Friday deal. I don't think I want to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll do it later. But then I got a really strong knock on my door, if you will, from Spirit this morning saying, Nadine, do it. So here I am. Um, and here's the offer. So if you sign up for level one channeling today, you will receive a um, free message from spirit uh, and a message from your angels rather and you'll also receive the uh, 21 day divine union program that starts January 1st. The same goes for if you uh, sign up for level two channeling today. Um, even though it's not coming out till January, if you do it today, you're gonna get two free gifts. Uh, and uh, if you sign up for the 21 day program that starts in January today, Divine Union, then you get to one of two things. You get to either offer the 21 day program to a friend as well. So you get two for the price of one, or you can get a free message from your angel. So I'll channel a message from your angels for you uh, that will go along with the program and it'll help you understand what the program means for you. So I'm really excited to share these programs today, but I also wanna talk just a little bit more about, uh, because today is Black Friday, there's a message that comes through and please know, I love beauty and I love the gifts of the material world. I have an aqua aura here with me. I love my crystals. I love statues. I love tapestries. I love art. There's so many things that I love. I love comfort. I have nothing against these things. I, um, I, you know, I always try to tell my children, it's like, it's not necessarily about how much we're spending on things. It's if the money is well spent. And what I just like to, to offer today is that if we are wanting to really create a higher state of abundance for ourselves in this coming new year, in this present moment, in our lives, it's important that we value ourselves by valuing our money and spending it on things that really matter to us. Because there's things that, you know, we've all done it. And especially, gosh, those of us with kids, it's easy to spend our money, on, really throw our money basically away on things that don't matter, that end up in a pile, that end up <laughs> you releasing and getting rid of. Um, and that causes stagnation. And it causes stagnation, it causes blocks within our homes and that those blocks, they overlay in our lives. So it's really important, just a, a message from our angels, spend your money with a free heart when it's things that mean, mean something to your heart. So let your heart lead the way when it comes to spending. And if you can, let go of things that you don't need because somebody else can value them. All things have sentience. Everything comes from the one creator. You know, even if it's a man-made item, everything comes from source originally. So everything has sentience. That's what I've learned from doing the work that I do for years and connecting with everything and everyone, that everything, it, it has life to it. It has different levels of sentience, but everything is alive in its own way. And I don't say that in a way that, you know, to scare us into, oh my gosh, uh, being paranoid about how we treat things, but just coming from a place of love and knowing that if things are not used, they're not feeling valued and everything deserves to be valued. And the more that we value the things around us and the people around us, the more that we're valued in turn. And this was funny because, okay, so as I was doing the cleansings yesterday, I found, this is embarrassing to even admit, but I found a crystal grid that I had on a high shelf that I forgot about. And the crystals were like, Nadine, we need to be cleansed. We need to be recharged. We're happy to do this work, but 
<laughs> you really left us. You forgot about us. And I didn't, I didn't feel like a horrible sense of shame or anything, but I definitely felt a little bit of guilt. But what I did to manage that was to clear and bless them and thank them for everything that they've offered me. So just be aware, you know, this isn't about we, you know, having guilt or shame for the things that you have or the things that you'd like to acquire. You know, you deserve to live in comfort. Every being deserves comfort. They also deserve to be appreciated. And this is a way working with the things that are around us. This is a great way to align with appreciation. So let's take a moment to offer love and honor to our material world. And what we're going to do is just cut the cords, allow Archangel Michael to come in and Archangel Ariel cut the cords to anything that we don't need any longer. Anything that's really been weighing us down or again, causing stagnation in any area of our life, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, energetic, whatever way we cut the cords. Now we release you into a place where you belong and we call in to us into our experience the people the places the things that are truly aligned with our spirit that bring us such a joy and comfort and peace we align with this now fully Thank you so much. I wish you the most beautiful end of this year because the end of this year to me is just as exciting as the new year. And this is the time where we really want the most beautiful openings for 2019. This is the time we're making space for it because we can only receive that which we're capable of receiving. Let's do it, you guys. Let's do clutter clearing. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you.